if you look at the greatest economies, be it the China, which is on one end of the democracy spectrum, and America, which is on the other end of the democracy spectrum, all the governments in China, the single party, which was CCP, which is CCP, in America, Republicans and Democrats, they always have backed their wealth creators. This is this mentality that we have. I don't know, we inherited from our Nehruvian socialism. We inherited from our thinking of Sarkar is my bab. Or whatever it is, we somehow think that the government lobbying for a wealth creator in India, based in India, employing in India, paying taxes in India is a bad idea. So when that news of the Indian government lobbying for Adani in Sri Lanka came out, I don't know how true that news is, but let's say that did happen. Let's assume for a second. Why is it so wrong for an Indian government, which is strong, which can flex its geopolitical muscle to lobby for any big company in any part of the world? Wasn't Xi Jinping lobbying for Huawei in India? Hasn't the US president lobbied for several multinationals in uh, in different parts of the world? Should I guess which is the biggest lobby, which is the biggest pro-China lobby in America? Of all things, it's the Wall Street. So I don't know why we have this mentality that, oh, if the government is backing a capitalist, there is some bad idea, there is some evil going on, there is something wrong about it. 